If you see this question in the exam hall, what will be your answer? Welcome to today's class on likely questions in electrolysis. Let's go. What current in amperes will deposit 27 gram of aluminum in two hours? So, the first thing you're going to do is to write out your parameters. So, what is the first thing? What current in amperes? So, we're looking for current. Current is denoted with the letter I. We're looking for current. We deposit 2.7 gram. Gram is mass. 2.7 gram is mass in gram. Then of aluminum in two hours. Two hours talks about time. However, you're going to convert these two hours. Convert these two hours to seconds by multiplying by 60. This is 60 to minutes to seconds 60. So this times this times this is going to give you 7,200 seconds. Okay. Then we have our molar mass of aluminum to be 27. Molar mass of aluminum to be 27. Okay. Now, if you see this kind of question in the hall, I'm going to solve, give you two ways to solve in it. But um, in, the course of the, in the course of the video, I'm going to be using the simpler method to solve it. Let's go. Okay. Now, from what we have here, you say that 27... That's the molar mass of aluminum, 27 gram of aluminum will be deposited by 3 times 96,500 columns. Where did we get 3? 3, we are dealing with aluminum. And aluminum, the valency of aluminum is 3. The valency of aluminum is 3. This is actually what happened at the electrolysis here. So aluminum will be deposited. So the valency of aluminum is 3. So that's where we got this three. So 27 gram, that's the molar mass of aluminum. 27 gram will give you this. So from what we had there, 2.7 gram. 2.7 gram will give you how many? It will give you 2.7 gram times three times 96,500 divided by 27. Now remember, I'm going to give us two methods. I just want to show you how you can solve it using this method and then I'm going to give you the easy method. Don't forget, I simplify chemistry. Now let's press our calculator. So you have that 2.7 times 3 times 96,500 and that is going to give you 781650 divided by 27. Divide by 27. And that will give us 28,950 columns. Remember, what we got here is what? Columns. Columns. So, the question says, find the what? We are looking for current. So, to get the current, Q is equal to IT. Q is quantity of charge. That's, Q is quantity of quantity of columns, quantity of electricity, which is measured in columns. So you have that 28,950 is equal to I times 7,200. So divide both sides by 7,200. So we press our calculator. And that will give us these divided by 7,200. That will give us what? 4.02. So approximately, our answer is what? 4 ampere. So what's the answer here? D. Isn't that simple? Now master this method. Let me give you the second method to solving it. Okay, so let's look at the second way to solving the question. The second way is very simple. Believe me when I say so. Now simply say that M E over big letter M. This is mass in gram and this is molar mass is equal to it over cf so this is mass in gram molar mass current measured in ampere time measured in seconds c stands for charge the charge of the element and f stands for farad which is 96500 so to solve mass here mass is what 2.7 gram mass in gram over molar mass, molar mass is 27, 
is equal so we're looking for current times time time is 7200 seconds all over the charge of aluminium is what three times farad is what one farad is 96,500 coulombs so you're going to cross multiply and you have that 2.7 times 3 times 96,500 is equal to 27 times this times 7,200. So the next thing to do is to divide both sides by the coefficients. So times what? All right, so 27 times 7,200. So cancel, 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 cancel. So you have this 781650 all over. 194,400. Please, dear students, don't make a mistake of trying to solve 2.7 times 3 times 96,500 divided by 27,000. If you do like that, you may get the wrong answer. You have to solve it 1 1. You solve the top one, you keep your answer. You solve the down one, you keep your answer. Then you now divide so that you arrive at the right answer. Okay, so let's uh, divide the answers. So you have that 781650 divided by 194400. And that will give us 4.02. So approximately our answer is what 4 ampere. So which is still the same for. Isn't that simple? So I think which formula is better? The first method or the second method? Let me know in the comment section. Let's look at another question. Okay, so let's look at the next question. How many Faraday of electricity is required to produce 0.525 mole of copper? So, now, the things, the parameters we have here includes number of mole, 0.25 mole. That's all. So, but the question says, how many Farad? How many Faraday? So, how do we do that? It is very simple. We are looking at the elements, copper. And that would be what copper is going to be deposited. Copper ion is going to be deposited here. So you have that one mole of copper is equal to how many farad? Two farad. If what was here is aluminium, aluminium will be three, right? So it will be one mole of aluminium is equal to what? Three farad. Okay. So one mole of copper is equal to two, two farad. Therefore, 0 0.25 mole will give us what? 0 0.25 times 5. And when you multiply that, it is going to give you 0 0.50 farad. Answer. So what's the answer to the question? D, 0 0.50 farad. Answer. Isn't this simple? Let's look at another question. Okay, so let's look at the next question. It says, the mass of silver deposited when a current of 10 ampere is passed through a, salt, a silver salt for 4830 seconds is what? So we're looking at the mass of silver deposited, which is what? Mass in grams is what we're looking for. Then the molar mass of silver is what? Molar, ma molar mass of silver, 108. Then... 10 ampere talks about current. What again? This talks about time, 4830 seconds. And then that's all, right? So the next thing to do is to quickly introduce our formula, which is M over M. That is mass in gram over molar mass is equal to IT over CF. IT for time, current and time. CF for charge and farad. So let's solve. Mass in gram is what we are looking for over molar mass. Molar mass is 108. Is equal to current. Current is 10 times time. Time is 4830. All over C. Now, what is the charge of silver? The charge of silver is 1. So 1 times farad. Farad, 96,500. So you are going to cross multiply. So what would that be? M times 1 times 96,500 is equal to 
10 times 4830 times 108. Are we together? So what's the next thing to do? Divide both sides by 96,500. That will give us 5,216,400. Divided by 96,500. And that will give us 54.0559. So this is what? 54.059. So what do we have here? So we have 54 grams. Now, remember, to first multiply this, keep it aside, multiply the down one, keep it aside, and then do what? Divide. So that you always arrive at the right answer. Let's look at another question. Can you try this question? Pause the video and try this question. Drop your answer in the comment section. Okay, so welcome back. Let's solve the question. It says, calculate the mass of magnesium. So we're looking for mass. That is mass in gram. That will be deposited by eight faradays of electricity okay so we are looking for mass in gram that will be deposited by eight farads farad is what eight here of electricity oh we're also given that the molar mass of magnesium is 24. now since you did not see current you did not see um time that means the formula of m over m is equal to it over cf we are not going to use it here okay because you didn't see current, you didn't see time. All right, so how do we solve now? We are going to write the equation for the reaction. Magnesium plus 2E minus will give us the position of magnesium. So this means that, the, what is the mass of magnesium? 24. 24 gram of this will give us what? 2 farad. Therefore, 8 farads. 8 farads will give us how many? 24 times 8 divided by what? 2. And that will be what? This divide itself into this 12. So you have that 12 times 8 will give us what? 96 gram. So from the options here, what will be our answer? 96 gram. Is that what you got? Let's look at another question. The question says what quantity of aluminium is deposited? So quantity talks about what? Mass in gram. Then current is time uh-huh time is 1930 seconds uh-huh you have your molar mass to be what molar mass of aluminium 27 and your farad so we're going to use our popular so we're going to use our popular formula which is m over m is equals to it over cf so what is your mass your mass is M over, we are looking for mass, molar mass, 27, is equal to I is 10 times T, T is 1930 over, what is the charge? The charge of aluminium is what? 3 times farad. So you cross multiply, you have that, M times 3 times 96,500 is equal to 10 times 1930 times 27. Is that okay? All right. So the next thing to do is to divide by the coefficients. Divide by the coefficients. So cancel, cancel, cancel. 51, 521,100 divided by three times 96,500 and that will give us 289,500. So you have that 521,100 divided by 289,500 and that will give us 1.8 gram answer. So let's look at the options. The options are, the options are 5.4 gram, 14.2 gram, 0 0.2 gram, and 1.8 gram. So automatically, the answer is what? 1.8 gram. Let's look at another question. 
All right, try this question. Pause the video and try this question. Put your answer in the comment section. Okay, welcome back. Let's do the question. It says, what number of moles of copper? We're looking at number of moles of copper that will be deposited during electrolysis by 360 columns. Now, did you see ampere? No. Did you see time? No. Definitely, we're not going to use M over M, okay? So, we're going to write the equation for the reaction. So, this is copper. Mm -hmm. Copper. So, we're looking at moles and we're looking at columns, okay? So, one mole of copper is deposited by what? Two times 96,500 columns. Now, why did I add 96,500? Because this is in columns. If the question says by something farad, then I'll write 2F farad. But it says columns, so you must convert the farad, that is 2F, 2 farads to columns by multiplying by 96,500. Is that understood? Okay, so 360 columns will now give us what? 360 columns will be 360. 360 times 1 divided by 2 times 96,500 columns. So let's solve. So this will be 360 divided by, so this is 360 times 1, 360 all over 2 times 96,500. That will be 193. Zero, zero, zero. So you have 360 divided by 193000 and that will give us 0 0.001865. So let's look at the answers. Remember this, whatever we have here is going to be more, okay? Because we're looking for more. So let's look at the options. The options are the options are A, 5.36 times 10 raised power minus 4. B, 1.87 times 10 raised power minus 3 more. C, 9.35 times 10 raised power minus 4. And D, 3.373 times 10 raised power minus 3 more. So what would be our answer? Our answer would be what? 1.8. This is up to 5. Add 1 here to be make it to be 7. Times 10 raised power minus. How many zeros do you have here? 3. 1, 2, 3. So our answer would be what? B. Isn't it simple? Okay. I'll give you another one to solve. Drop your answer in the comment section. Okay. Okay. So look at this question. What current will deposit 3.25 gram of zinc in 2 hours? So you have your molar mass and your 1 farad. You also have your options here. Now, I want you to do something. Solve this question and put your answer in the comment section. The options are here for you to make your choice. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found value in this video. Please do well to like this video so that other people will also see it. Thank you very much and success in your exams. Bye.